Hey, water signs. Welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Happy Valentine's Day. All right. Listen, we're calling in uh, the reading to... We're calling in spirit to give us um, the days around Valentine's Day. It doesn't have to be particularly on Valentine's Day. We're going to say the days surrounding February 14th and including for February 14th, 2022 spirit and angels anyone for the highest good for love for the water signs cancer pisces and scorpio what do we need to know for valentine's day and the days surrounding it love reading for the water signs what do we need to know here please okay we got one that popped out and we got a whole bunch that popped out we're only going to take the one that came out all by itself over here uh for yourself it's time to take back control of your life Wow, I want to get one more. Give me one more on this. Love, okay, that flew right out. New love, absolutely. Okay, nice. So we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And at the bottom of the deck, we have attraction. Uh, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so freeing yourself and getting um, out of anything that's kept you caged in, whether it be an old relationship, whether it be an ex who keeps calling you, texting you, whatever. Spirit says there's something new trying to come in for you, and it's going to be nice. All right, let's check it out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for the water signs. What do we need to know in the way of love? What's important? Love only. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What are the most important messages for anyone with um, any kind of water placements? What do we need to know about this message? Having to do with Valentine's Day. Having to do with love. It doesn't have to be on Valentine's Day. It could be anywhere around Valentine's Day. See, some people are probably going to go out over the weekend. That's why I don't want to say that it's exactly for Valentine's Day. So, Valentine's Day or the days surrounding Valentine's Day. Having to do with love for the water signs. All right, I feel one more shuffle. Allow me to connect with as many people as possible. Free yourself. New love and attraction. All right, let's find out water signs. Now, the free yourself could be anything that's been holding you back from love. A job, your mind, your past hurts, whatever it is, right? We got the hermit reverse right away, which is really good. Wow, you got an emperor here nice what else do we need to know for these water signs please anyone with water sign placements cancer pisces scorpio okay that's way too many but this one flew out separately so we'll take it the moon reverse what else do we need to know here three of wands reversed what else water signs Okay, okay, Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Magician reverse and the Ace of Cups right there. Look at this gorgeous Ace of Cups. It's a huge golden cauldron with little golden skulls. Life regenerated. It is reversed. Not that I feel you're not getting it. I feel like it's on hold. Uh, why? Okay, so, wow. All right, so you could have, um, hmm. All right, I don't want to go back too far, but what I do see is I see that that cup's coming in. We have the Page of Cups carrying that cup, but we have the Knight of Wands and the cup actually reversed. It's like uh, the Knight could ride in with the cup, but for some reason it's on hold. So let's find out why. Um, the Three of Wands is also on hold, and the Three of Wands shows a hunter going for the prize, which is that deer back there. Okay, and that's in reverse as well. I feel like somebody is waiting for some reason. I'm not sure yet why. They're trying to get to the bottom of something here with the hermit. And the hermit is looking right at, if you if we were to turn the hermit in the upright, the hermit would be trying to figure out the emperor. Like, what do you, what's up with you, emperor? Okay, but the hermit's in the reverse and already has... In, um, become enlightened about the emperor now if you feel like you are the emperor it could be you that's already become enlightened if you feel like you are the queen of pentacles you're trying to get enlightened about this emperor 
All right, but I want to know why Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse, okay? So she feels left out in the cold in some way. There's something going on. What is it because he hasn't moved forward? Is it because she's like, wait, what, why, are, why isn't he showing up? Why isn't he taking control and showing up? All right, the moon reverse. We might find that out, okay? And we've got the magician here. So the emperor magician is someone who takes control of a situation. And somebody here isn't moving forward. Now, is it? Are, if you're the emperor, are you wondering why she's not moving forward? Well, she's a lady. Uh, most ladies aren't going to move forward. I mean, in today's world, it's, it's a lot different, but... I mean, if you're a mature person um, and you're waiting for the Queen of Pentacles to come forward, you could be waiting forever because most Queens of Pentacles are never going to be the one that comes in with the cup and says, hey, let's do this. No, she's a lady. She's probably got a list of emperors wanting to, you know, take her out. Uh, it's just the way it is. It's the way of the world, right? Um, and I know that sounds old fashioned, but that is the way it is for most mature people all right let's get into it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading what do we need to know free yourself new love and attraction yes yeah, somebody's holding back holding back i don't know exactly why um or we have somebody here who feels like somebody should be the one to approach or something. But we'll find out. Give me a little more information on this. This is for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. What else do we need to know here? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Love for Valentine's Day. What's important? Love. for the days surrounding Valentine's Day for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Anyone with water placements. Give me one more shuffle. Love for water signs. All right, let's get into it. So, like I said, we have this huge cup. We have the page of cups wanting to bring it in, but right now it's on hold, but we don't know why. All right, somebody's not pursuing something they really do want. I mean, that's their prize. Somebody won't move forward towards the prize. That's the first thing I want to know. Why is the three of wands here reversed? Water signs. Love reading. Why is the three of wands in the reverse for the water signs? Just one, please. One or two. Okay, we got two. Yep, absolutely. Not budging. Not budging. We've got the Knight of Cups reversed, and we have the Knight of Swords reversed. Look at this. No one's moving forward. Now, keep this in mind. There could be two to choose from. Uh, somebody could have a very hard time choosing between two people. And if they're single, well, that's their prerogative, right? All right, so I want to take a look at the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed? Ten of Cups reversed. Look at this. Ten of Cups reversed. This is somebody who's, uh, so if this, if this is a knight, well, if this is the emperor who hasn't moved forward, she's hurt by this. She's upset by it. Tell me about the emperor. What do we need to know about the emperor? Oh my gosh. Look at this, the hermit. Right next to the emperor is the hermit. So the hermit, the emperor is the one who's trying to figure this out. All right, so the emperor is the one. The emperor has to choose between two people here. Mm -mm -mm. But you got a queen of pentacles who's not happy about this. Tell me about the moon. What do we need to know about the moon in reverse? nine of swords i kid you not 
somebody is stressed out and totally up in their head and full of their emotions about this. So somebody is so hurt by this. Tell me about the magician. What do we need to know? Magician. Water signs. Oh gosh, get back here. Darn it. Bunch fell on my lap. Tell me about the magician. Just one or two, please. The magician. Okay. We have the six of pentacles in the reverse. And we have the king of cups, which also could be the queen of cups. Um, I feel as though, so this could be a feminine that's torn between two. It could be somebody here doesn't know which person they want to connect with. One of these people could be a karmic with the devil at the bottom here reversed. Tell me about that. Why is the six of pentacles reversed? Oh my God. The two of cups. All right. Let's take a little peek at the, why is queen of pentacles here with the 10 of cups, both reversed queen of pentacles and 10 of cups. Why reversed? The Queen of Pentacles could be a Virgo looking into the Emperor. So this could be a water sign with a lot of Virgo. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse with the Ten of Cups reverse. What's this about? Like, I feel like this could be the water sign. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, the Sun reversed. Wow. So the thing about this sun card is it also has the universe on it. So it's like the sun in the world, both reverse. This cycle won't change until this person gets clarity on what they want or they do. One of these two people has to make up their mind. Let's get a peek at who they're choosing from. We got the three of wands reverse with the knight of cups and the knight of swords, both reverse. Tell me more about the knight of cups and the knight of swords, both reversed here. This could be just two people that won't budge. Are you kidding me? The Hierophant. <laughs> so we got someone here who's emotional and lacks clarity. The Queen of Pentacles. We got someone up there who's gone within and I feel stayed there. There is some kind of um, commitment here between these two people. Why did the King of Cups come out? Why is the King of Cups here? I bet it's the same emperor. Why is King of Cups involved? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Why is King of Cups here? Why is King of Cups involved? Page of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and Ten of Wands reversed. This is somebody who's going to walk away from something. Somebody has got to make it. So here's what's happening. In order for someone to bring this together, these two people that I feel are the new attraction, the new one, okay? Someone really does have to free themselves from an old commitment. It doesn't matter whether it's the masculine or the feminine uh, I feel like it's going to be different for each of you. So, because we have a feminine here who's unhappy and has lacks clarity and there's a cycle that needs to close down for this person. And we have a masculine up there who also lacks clarity, but is trying to get it with the hermit here. Who's in the middle of, I want to get, why is the emperor here with the hermit like this? Look, the 
Wheel of Fortune reverse came out just like this universe reverse for him. They both can't close their cycle until someone leaves behind something that um, they need to walk away from something that's been very burdensome. Tell me about the um, hermit here with the emperor. Why is the hermit twice here with this emperor? What do we need to know about this? This person is getting enlightened, I feel. Look, it came right back out. I kid you not. Give me one more card on the hermit showing up here with the emperor. What do we need to know? Neither one of these people can complete the cycle. It's karmic. Tell me about the hermit with the emperor. What do we need to know? Look at it. Look at the cup coming out of the cloud. And this person's like, what? The big cup, right? It hasn't showed up yet. Somebody's been waiting for it. That page has it in their hand. It's coming. I, the, but somebody has to make up the, they have to make up their mind to come forward. Something has to happen here. There's something really karmic going on here. As in someone has to leave something or something someone behind in order to approach whatever this new thing is let's find out what they need to free themselves from because i can see that loud and clear tell me about free yourself for the water signs tell me about free yourself queen of cups reversed no kidding give me that's the person that's right here that king of cups i said it doesn't matter king queen doesn't matter tell me about um new love tell me about new love the hanged man the person who keeps looking and trying to figure something out over and over again, trying to contemplate, try, and she's doing the same thing, trying to see something with clarity. She doesn't have clarity on something, and neither does he. He's trying to get, he's getting clarity, though, I feel. But when I ask about new love, that's what I get. And get, look at what's at the bottom, lovers. New love. Maybe Pisces, somebody with a strong Pisces. Wow, King of Pentacles. So I get Queen of Cups freeing herself, and I get New Love, King of Pentacles. What does Queen of Cups have to leave behind? What does Queen of Cups Reverse have to free, free herself from? A work commitment three of pentacles fell out but it came out with a whole lot of other cards so i'm going to do it again so see if just one will come out just one or two cards please why is queen of cups here reversed with free yourself what do we need to know about this judgment again this was in the pile of the cards that just fell out what is this about? What is this judgment about? This is very karmic, whatever this is. Tell me about judgment here with free yourself and the Queen of Cups. I feel like she has to leave behind the burdens of the past and something. I don't know if it's a person or an obligation. Yeah, look. I kid you not. Look how karmic this is. The moon and the devil shut the front door look at it and this is a cancer moon by the way just thought i'd mention that it could be anybody but the devil reversed the moon reversed and judgment this is like time to release old karma so this is queen of cups leaving behind walking away from busting free from a commitment or something from the past that was heavy and burdensome when this person both of them need to budge 
because the first thing I saw was nobody budging, right? And this is like, in order to come together in this, and I feel like it's very karmic, the third party has something to do with this Queen of Cups. She has to leave something behind. Um, if it's a person, it's a person, okay? If it's a person, it's a person. If it's not a person, it's something else very karmic that she has to leave behind. And also, I'm, I'm saying also that this emperor, who I think is this king of pentacles, um, he also is gaining perspective and needing, he can't close his cycle and she can't close her cycle. They mirror each other, these two, until this, it's something about karma. So when this karmic cycle finally when they first I almost feel like whatever she has to detach from is the devil it's karma it's done all she has to do is detach from it when she does that she can head towards this new person okay so the thing is freeing herself from this old karmic whatever it is is what allows her to move forward I almost feel like it's it's like Tell me what the karma is here. Tell me what the devil is here. The devil, what What else did it come up with? The moon reversed, the devil reversed, the karmic wheel reversed. What is all this about? Judgment, page of wands reversed, okay? What is all this karma about that won't let the, oh, let's find out. Wheel of fortune reversed for him, the sun with the universe reversed for her cycle won't end tell us what this wheel reverse and the sun reverse means why is it here justice shut the hell up this couldn't be more karmic i'm telling you this couldn't be more karmic page of wands came out when i had asked about this judgment and this this karma so somebody here might have to release something to do with the scorpio um make it, I mean, I'm sorry. I don't know why I just said Scorpio, Sagittarius and make some kind of a decision. As soon as someone makes this decision to release whatever this is, I mean, it's karmic as all get out. That ship comes in and these two can come together. I think these two are karmic to each other, but they're meant to come together. But first somebody has to release from something else. I just don't, I feel it it's just somebody has to complete something. What is it they have to complete here in this karmic cycle? What is it? I did not expect to get into such a karmic reading here. They have to choose a direction. They have to choose. Spirit lights up that path for someone. This came out reversed, this two of wands, but it's my favorite two of wands in any deck. And look at how the high priestess has to free fall. She has to trust it and go with it and just allow it. She has to choose. Wow. And she has to use her intuition to make this choice. Wow. This could be she. This could be he. So here's the thing. Look, the choice. Seven of cups. I kid you not. When someone makes that choice is when they get their victory. This could be both of them because this is so very karmic, right? Mm -hmm. So someone is being called on, both someone's could be called on to use their intuition to make a choice to come together. So in other words, until these two very karmic -y people leave, somebody has to definitely leave something behind. Maybe both of them do. And until they choose each other or they choose to allow it and to use their intuition and to allow themselves, especially whoever is coming through in this high priestess, energy to allow themselves to just fall into it without holding themselves back without going you know I, this devil energy and all this stuff could be fear the moon the devil it's all fear 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 until someone releases all that and allows somebody could be in fact both of them could be not coming together right not coming together to collect their prize. Their ship has come in, but they're not coming together. They're both like this. Talk about stubborn. Um, oh my goodness, guys. I hope that somebody will chime in and tell me what this is. What a karmic reading. Angels, what do we need to know about this love reading for the water signs? I mean, 
the commit uh, the commitment would be here this would be a divine i really feel like this is very um this would be like two karmic people working out their karma and getting this huge new beginning um from past life karma i feel because it's coming through as new and attraction but both of them are too afraid i think they feel the karmic nature between the two of them and they're both afraid to accept or to offer so guys just uh, spirit says take the free fall just give it a shot you would might be surprised that this is a really really this could actually end up being a really awesome soulmate for you because i feel like the the yucky karmic energy has something to do with the free yourself part it has nothing to do with the two people coming together it has to do with leaving something else behind or leaving your fears behind or being willing to enter into a karmic relationship together and work together i almost feel like this is yeah they could be karmic to each other but i just have a feeling they would have a good relationship if they'd allow it i hope this makes sense to someone angels what do we need to know here oh that's a lot all right power adventure abundance courage oh my god i kid you not i am not kidding okay so this is my her uh, this is my hierophant card so the hierophant again power bringing two people together that are karmic but are that's supposed to be together the hierophant again all right this is a divine couple being brought together right this is the hermit again look at this little hermit card and spirit says just consider an adventure make the offer let the cycle end the thing is everyone's holding it up because no one's doing anything no one has the courage to dive in and tell the other person the truth and to bring this together it's a divine couple that's supposed to come together but they're so in karmic -y energy that they're not they're freaking out i feel like they're freaking out abundance look at that bring it together and that's what you get the best card in the whole deck beautiful guys let it happen what's the worst thing that can happen i wonder how long you've been doing this you know guys do tell me what this is even if you have been afraid to go out on a date with this person afraid to really commit to this person afraid to give in to the attraction between you and i i feel like somebody strongly i feel like both of you strongly feel the um the spiritual connection between the two of you yes it could be karmic but that doesn't mean it has to be bad i feel like we're all karmic to each other anyone that you have a past life relationship with a strong bond with we're all karmic we just got to figure out if we're going to have a bad karmic relationship or a good one make your mind up that you're going to have a good one both of you anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this what an exciting reading i mean bl mind blowing for me i did not expect all that to come out uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Happy Valentine's Day. Say yes. Call each other. Talk to each other. Stop uh, Stop blocking each other, avoiding each other, or being so afraid to talk to each other. I, I think this, it's a very strong bond spiritually. That's It's freaking you guys out. Have the courage to dive in. That was your last little angel card there, okay? All right, guys. Have a good one. Talk to you soon. Comment, please, and don't forget to hit the like. It helps the channel. Thank you, guys. Bye.